Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kristen Hess. I'm going to talk to you about three poem notes and math. Specifically for today, we're going to talk about what is the difference between exact and approximate answers. This is especially important if you're using a computer program that's grading your homework when it asks for the approximate and the exact answer. Also on handwritten assignments, you will be some, you might sometimes see this as well. So what is the difference? Well, exact answers mean there's no uncertainty in the answer. Uh, generally, there's no decimals. So for example, pi. Everyone knows what pi is, and if you need to use pi in a calculation, if you know that it needs to be pi, you can just type in pi instead of estimating or rounding it. E is another uh, concept similar to pi, square root of 2, 2 thirds, 1 seventh, 4 and negative 1. Those are all examples of exact answers. So what's an approximate answer then? Well, approximate answers means there's a little bit of uncertainty. We might have some decimals. It's, it's the calculator answer, meaning pi is 3.14, but there's more decimals. And E is 2.718 plus more decimals. And the fractions that we've talked about could be converted to decimals, but we don't have the whole thing. And so that's the key difference is whether or not you have the whole thing. If you know that the answer is pi or the square root of two or the square root of three, you have the whole thing. But if you give the approximate answer, we don't have the whole thing. So when you're doing this, we need to keep track of what we're being asked, when we need to round, and how many decimal places to round to. So now as you're taking your notes, I encourage you to take a few minutes to jot down your own summary and any questions that you still have. The last thing I'm going to give you is an extension. I'm going to give you some problems to try on your own for you to pause the video and then start it again when you have your answers. So what is the exact and the approximate answer of 2 ninths plus 6? and the square root of two times the square root of five. Go ahead and pause, and once you have your answers, resume the video. Okay, welcome back. Here are the exact and approximate answers. And in this case, my approximate answers, I chose to round to three decimal places when you're doing your own problems. Um, in homework situations, check very carefully to see what the problem is asking for to how many decimal places. Thank you for being here.